Welcome back to Jen with Wendy. Jen with Wendy has a nice ring to it. Okay, today I'm moving on to the slow gins. I've never had a slow gin, didn't know anything about slow gins, don't really still, but Luke told me the other day when I said after citrus, I'm moving on to slow gin, he said that it's about half the proof of regular gin. Luke is our gin master, and um, he was the one who was picking drinks for me in the beginning, and then I decided to just go down the menu. So, I um, mean, he gives me all of my, you know, everything I know about, about gin. Whether it's true or not, so I'm not always the, sure. But um, anyway, on to slow gins, which I think the regular gins has about 44% alcohol, and these have about 22 so somewhere around there. Um, this one is Pena Slow. It's a traditional gin made by steeping the slows, I don't know what a slow is, in Heyman's gin before blending with natural sugar. It's served with um, a different, just a tonic water and orange, but I don't like the plain tonic water, so I'm just going to go with Mediterranean today. And I've got varnish with a couple of slices of orange. So this has been kind of wiggling around here in my eyes for quite a while. But I did take a sip earlier, so I'll bring it up that now. It's it's a very, I guess because the proof is so low, it's a very, very mild. Actually, you could just sip this gin, especially now because it's, it's watered down quite a bit. Um, it's kind of perky me in flavor. And also, I don't know, it actually smells a little cranberry-like in smell. So let's add a little bit of the Mediterranean tonic. I don't think I need to add much because it's it's so sweet already. Mm. Actually, that's really nice. That's a perfect amount in there because the um, the gin itself is so sweet that I don't think you'd want much. And maybe that's why they paired it with regular tonic water. But since I like the flavors, I decided to go for it anyway. So let me drink my slow gin. We have a lot of special guests today because, first of all, we have um, some ladies that are in the hotel because um, they asked, we were closed, but they asked if they have a drink, and so um, we, we have them in the back. They're enjoying some tea and a strawberry gin, and Laura is enjoying the tea. Nettie likes the Chase, uh, Chase grapefruit. She actually got the last of it. Sue wanted to have a Chase grapefruit today, and Nettie drank it all. So actually all of it is like a half of it. A shot. And Laura, I can't remember. I had the alcohol, and it's not as good as Because of the alcohol. Nettie, how was yours? Perfect. Pretty good. Yeah, I what's, can recommend that. What's the most, uh, uh, what about it do you like so much? It's uh, not so sweet, it's more fresh and perfect for a summer day. So that's why I'm sitting on the wrong seat. <laughs> <laughs> but the feeling is like summer. So. <laughs> do you want to try this one now? Do you want to put tonic in it? That could be a little better. This one's not as good with the wrong tonic. What? So it's the tonic that, that's detracting. What is the tonic you have in it? Um, I tried to get as close to elderflower as I could, so I got elderflower and bitter orange. But the bitter but it, orange. Yeah, it's not as good, especially with the apple, because normally the apple flavor comes out really well with the garnish, but not so much with this tonic. So, would I recommend the Sojin, the Heyman Sojin? So is S-L-O-E. It has here what, what slow gins are. It says, it's a traditional gin style with slow berries infused in gin, creating a sweet, sweeter, deep gin, deep red gin. And yeah, that's the color there. I did hear Sue say 
Now this is just the next one in the book, but I heard her say it's not really the right time of That's year soup. for slow gin. So I don't know if slow gin is something typically you have in the winter or something. I don't know what the season is, but apparently it's not now. But it's nice and I find it refreshing with the Mediterranean. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. Um, but again, I think it might have been fine actually with just a regular tonic because it has is so sweet and flavorful already. But it is quite refreshing, and I think you could drink it with anything. Joining us is Sue. Sue, what are you having, and what do you think of it? Now, I think it's delicious, and I think if it was all the grape fruit and pomelo, it would be too grapefruity, but it's watered down um, with some Tanqueray number 10, I think it is. So I've got half and half with a grapefruit on the water and it is delicious. Garnished with grapefruit as well. Thank you. So, Wendy? I just want to say thanks everyone for joining us today and thank you to all the special guests and cheers everybody. Cheers. cheers. cheers.